How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Um, this is a high watch right here for me. I'm not going to make my videos out at my tiki torches tonight because I'm going to be out watching and uh, I'm going to make my video now. I'm going to take a nap and then I'm going out. I'm going to be out tonight on my deck watching for the Lord tonight. High watch. This is, as I stated, this is the full moon right here, the 31st, the 1st. So seven and eight days later would be, after the full moon, would be Tabernacles started. The eighth day would be right here if this is second or the Jubilee year and that extra month. I'm also watching this next week right here, High Watch. That is, um, that is because if the crescent or the full moon is the new moon, as that's the um, creator's calendar, a lot of people are watching this date right here. And uh, why? Because if you go back from winter, you go back 40 days, which I believe the second group could leave. That would be right here. This would be winter. So if you go back 40 days from that, let's do this, subtract it. Goes to November 11th right there, just as I said right here. High watch for me. I will show you something that's coming on the 12th. And right here, that's the next week. After that, of course, we have Hanukkah next month. But I'm not going to talk about that now. I also was going to talk about another about uh, another thing that I've been watching. But, so, we will get to this right here. Love you all. I hope you're all doing well. I have a lot of information in this video. It's going to be longer than most of my videos. Jupiter and Pluto. H1N1. Jupiter and Pluto converge. This is happening on the 12th. 12th. Black Death. Also, there's a meteor shower then. Right here. Right here. It's after they signed signed the deal with Israel that that
Okay. I'll get rid of this. You can that video right there. What is that conjunction? The conjunction is on the 12th, and it's Pluto in uh, as you could see there. It's conjunction. Uh, that last time Jimmy Carter, they had the uh, peace deal with Israel with Egypt, and that Assad got killed. Right here, the moon face. That's the day. Right here. 12th, right here, 11th and 12th, right here, same as an IPEC goat, as I said, this, I believe, this is when Trump leaves, we will see, date to date calculator, back 40 days is, like I said, the 11th, right here, and that's right here, 11th and 12th, so we will see, um, the new moon is in Leo. Leo. There's also the Leonid meteor shower. So this is just information. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Like I said, I was going to do this out on my deck tonight. But uh, I want to be out watching and I will be out watching. I'll be adding this to my other parts of the video. Um, I have... Uh, I have... Uh, I have another date, which uh, I believe Satan will be cast down, but I'm not going to put that until we're to that point, until winter, winter, you know, prayer flight not being winter. That's the 21st of December. Love you all, and I'll put this together. Thank you. Mm, bye. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Here's the date. As you know, we're watching this weekend. Um... I'm going to get into this video is, uh, I'm going to have part one and part two. I think this is very important and I will go over this right now before I set the, tell you about the dates. As we have talked about, um, the seventh and eighth right here, um, Sukkot, um, Tabernacles because adding another month. Like I said, the full moon here, this right here. I am also watching this right here, okay, um, from the creator's calendar, the, uh, creator's calendar, um, this could be Sukkot, okay, which the 13th right here I'm watching, uh, I will go over that later, and this weekend right here, and of course, um, at the end of this video, I'll go over Hanukkah and other things. So, we are watching. I'm excited. I mean, things are looking up. I could go over the presidential thing, but my opinion. But I'm going to go over this now. This is uh, this is more important, and this is, uh, before I start, I'm going to splice these together, too, these videos. Let's go over this right now, and uh, we'll talk about this, and I'll explain this. Because, like I said, I believe we are the Church of Philadelphia. We are watching at the gate daily for the Lord. We love the Lord. The Lord loves us. So let's go over this right now. Luke 18. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Pray always. Very important. Pray always. Bang. There was in a city a judge, which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Okay, that's what I tell everybody on my channel. Seek the Lord on your own. Go in your closet. Pray. Tell the Lord. Pray your... Put your case forward to the Lord. You want to go to the wedding supper. Keep coming to the Lord. Keep seeking him. As I said right here in Proverbs chapter 8, 
I love them that love me. Those that seek me early shall find me. Okay. You are seeking him. You are calling on him. His his riches are in 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 goods, you know. You you are righteous. You 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 know, you are watching, you're waiting for the Lord. Just like it says here, his parable right here, it also says it says, who will find faith? Let's back this up a little bit, and we'll play it over again. Luke 18. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray, and not to faint, saying, There was in a city a judge, which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you, that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Shall he find faith on the earth? That's He's talking about the end times here. He's talking about us. We are calling out him. Just like it says in Proverbs chapter 8. It says, blessed are them that are waiting at the gate, daily at the gate. We are waiting. We are calling. We are seeking. Just like I said, go in your closet. I pray three times a day. I'm see telling the Lord, I want to go to the wedding supper. State your case. He says right there. So state your case. You want to go to the wedding supper. And as I have said before, um, those that diligently seek him will find him. Seek him early. So right here he's telling you. He, you know, he's going to hear you. He's going to hear you. Keep calling. Keep, you know, press towards the gate. Press towards the mark. Philippians 3.14. Press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. We're supposed to be pressing in. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalteth himself. That's what I do. Anybody that t knows my me and I've said my testimony, I've given my testimony. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I bring it to the Lord. I tell people, go in your closet and pray. Pray in secret. I pray in my room. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I'm always analyzing myself. Should I have, what am I doing with my money? Am I doing the right thing, Lord? I seek the Lord. I ask the Lord. He will answer you. So, as I said, as it says right here, it tells you about praying in secret. Be humble to the Lord. Tell him everything. Get rid of it. Bring it all to him. Let him bear the burden. Let him, him take that burden away from you by confessing it to him. So, I, like I said, the reason why I believe I wanted to put this out today is because we are so close. We are so close, and I want to see everybody there. Now I'm going to get to this part right here. Um, Right here. Most people think that Jesus abides in you. You're saved. No. You abide in him. And then he abides in you. You can read all these for yourself. You abide in him. And it says, you abide in him. You ask what 
you ask and it shall be given to you. By abiding in him, he abides in you. What does that mean? Abiding in him is right here, just like it says here. You can read them all for yourself. Whoever abided in him sinneth not. Whoever sinneth, he has not seen nor, nor known him. You should... By abiding in him, you try to keep yourself clean. You try to, you, 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 you're not going to be perfect. I, I, when I mess up, you know, I should have been more kinder to that person. I tell the Lord that I'm sorry. I should have, you know, I make mistakes. And as I have said before, I've given my testimony quite a bit. I don't like talking about myself, but I'm, I'm just saying this, this is what I do. You can do what you want. Okay, I'll get into this right here. Um, as I have said and I've had my testimony, the Lord wanted me to go into my closet and pray the Lord's Prayer every day. Every day. See, I was seeking Him daily. Okay, seeking Him daily. Seeking Him every day. I knew nothing before this. It's been, uh, like I said, 2017. I know that Alan from Ministry Revealed, his testimony is the same thing as me. He started getting revelations in 2017, the same as me. He's looking at these days right here. This right here from the, I think it's the Creator's Calendar, it's Tabernacles, um, you know, Sukkot, right in here. Uh, like I said, 13th, I got something later, I'll show you about the 13th, but um, right here, he's looking at these days, okay? I know that there's a lot of, I heard a lot of people's testimony, and when I've listened to their videos, it's been three years, It's and that was in 2017, my testimony, um, the Lord wanted me also to take communion, I take communion a lot, okay, and this is just information for you, you can do whatever you want, it says right here, it says, for, for when you take communion right here when you take in communion for my flesh is meat indeed and my blood in drink indeed he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwell in me and i in him as the father has sent me and live in the by the father so when you take communion, Jesus says, He is in you, and you are in Him. Okay? Before you take communion, you're supposed to uh, confess any of your sins, come clean. Before you take communion, you're supposed to be clean. He abideth in you. Okay? Now, I have mentioned this before, in, but it's also Daniel chapter 1. Daniel wouldn't eat the king's meat. But it's also a parable, as in Luke right here. Luke, it's also a parable. Jesus talks in parables. There's parables in the Bible, okay? When, when it says about eat your flesh, it says, it says they didn't eat a portion. This is eating a portion of the king's meat. Jesus is our king. And Daniel is a Daniel chapter. The whole Daniel is about prophecy about the future events. Daniel chapter one is an overview. When you eat the king's meat, Daniel wouldn't eat the king's meat. But what the parable is is that we get knowledge and wisdom, as it says in Proverbs chapter eight. He is his riches are in righteousness, in wisdom, in knowledge. As it says right here, when you eat, when you have communion, you're eating his meat. When you drink his, it's blood, which is communion, you're eating, you're drinking his blood, which is a drink indeed. Just like in Daniel chapter 1, it says they ate the king's meat for three years. He, uh, he, uh, um, three years, they were eating a portion of the king's meat. After three years, they can stand before the king. Which that's the same thing as uh, Luke twenty one thirty six. Pray always that you are counted worthy to stand before the Son of Man. So I believe that all my knowledge that I got, because I knew nothing before, 
I've had other people that I know of the same thing. Um, it says also too, um, Jesus protected them from uh, protected them from the fire. We will be protected from the fire. So Daniel chapter one. This is what I believe. After three years, I can stand before the king. I believe. If you want wisdom and knowledge, I've told people. If you wanted to um to be helped, to um the Lord to help you, if He's in you, just like it says right here, abide. If He's in you, you're not going to sin. You're not going to sin. I I know from a fact with me, I started taking communion. I was very emotional at first. I still am very emotional about it when I take communion. Communion. He abideth in him, he sinneth not. Okay. So, I just wanted to go over that. And, like I said, we're getting close. I would take communion. Um, Like I said, um, ask the Lord to give you wisdom and knowledge like I do. I don't ask for any personal as far as money. I could need nothing here. I don't want nothing here. But I want to go over this. I believe it's very important. Um, like I said, if I've had people, I explained Daniel chapter 1 to them, and the light came on to them about this matter right here. It's all about um, um, Daniel chapter 1. It's about... This is what it's talking about, I believe. It also says wine, which, anyway. Love you all. This is the first part of my video. Now I'm going to get into, I'm going to splice this together. I try to keep on track and not go off into another area. And that's why I do this and splice them together. Um, this part, I believe, is very important because we are on the home stretch. And we'll be out of here soon. I'm going to talk about when Satan's cast down. And we will see the next month is high watch. And I will go over that right now. Love you all. And uh, bye. Yes. How's everybody doing? I'm putting this on the end of my other video. And uh, I've decided to wait. Here's the date right here. Tomorrow night, I'm going to be out on my porch. And I'm going to put these videos together that's out on my porch. Uh, I have ones about Hanukkah. Like I said, this date right here, the 13th, tonight, tomorrow, right up here, and then the 13th next week. This is for this month. After this month, I'm going to start focusing on Hanukkah. It's this date right here. I had a beautiful sister, Mrs. Grigson, my beautiful sister. She's been telling me for six, eight months, the Lord told her that we were leaving around thank, or, um, Christmas. I hope I said that correctly, but I'm, she sends me stuff all the time. She was telling me that we leave at Hanukkah. So, like I said, I'm going to focus on that next. But uh, my beautiful sister and others, uh, True Rock has a video out of Things in the Sky. I wanted to also say that. So, but I'll get back to this part right here about Luke. The main thing is, is that there's two groups here. And as I said, some go to church. The person that goes to church thinks he's righteous for doing all the righteous things. And then there's the person that repents and comes to the Lord and tells him. That's having a personal relationship. You're not trying to hide something. You're trying to give it all out. The Lord knows if you love him. Okay. And that's what this video is about. As it's like I said, I'm going to put this out tomorrow. It says right here about abiding in him right here it says right here if you keep my commandments you shall abide in love even as i kept my father's commandments i'm sorry as you kept my father's commandments as abide in his love so by keeping his commandments you are abiding in his love i believe this is a church of philadelphia brotherly love also too it says right here if you love me, keep my commandments. And as it says right here, it says, as <clears throat> that's what he, Jesus kept his father's commandments. And he's saying, keep my father's commandments and keep my commandments. Uh, I try to. If you fail, as I showed you right here in Luke, 
Jesus is our mediator. Go to him. That's called having a personal relationship for with him. And uh, he knows. He knows who loves him. Uh, if you try and you're, you're keeping coming to him every day, he's going to walk with you. He's going to hold your hand. I've asked the Lord to hold my hand many of times. So, like I said, this is going to be at the end of my video. I'm going to hold off. I have videos on um, when I think Satan will be cast down. But if I'm wrong, as other people have been wrong, we're all watching. There's a certain date I'm watching. And uh, it's actually after Hanukkah. If we get past Hanukkah, there's that date. And uh, it lines up in the stars. And I can go over that. But I'm putting this at the end of the video. Like I said, the reason why I wanted to have this video, if you have something that you're dealing with, I had a beautiful sister, she said she's struggling with something. Well, take it to the Lord. Keep coming to the Lord, as it says here. Keep knocking, keep keep hounding the Lord, keep, keep seeking Him, keep telling Him you want to go to the wedding supper. Help you, help you. He will help you. He's helped me. And that's, like I said, this is what this message is about. And uh, as we wait, love you all and uh, thank you.